gotta keep moving their asses around. It's no use for no motherfucking hoes to just be sitting on his motherfucking ass and complaining. Them asses they gotta keep moving and them quids they gotta keep coming in. Gotta keep an eye out for some new bitches. Pimps only as good as their product. If I didn't have her, I'd just go shopping and buy all these things I don't really need. I'm not spending all my money in just one day. Yeah, I'd spend it all in one day. I'd just buy drugs and CDs. Exactly. She, she looks after our money so we never have more than we can actually handle. She's not just a pimp, she's more of an entrepreneur, really. Two plums, three pears, two oranges, two quid altogether, love. Let's see which bitch is calling me. Chris, what? You made any cash yet? I don't, I don't know, I don't seem to. Listen, Sharon, none of these women, they just don't seem interested. Well, get your ass moving. Oi. Oh, do I owe you money? Yeah, give me a call sometime, darling. You've got a beautiful little ass. Ah, smile. What do you want, mate? I've got a flat. It's just around the corner. What? Piss off, you dirty bugger. Don't keep calling me all the time, it's embarrassing me. What am I supposed to say to people? Now keep moving, bitch, and don't spend any of it. One of my bitches just made me a nifty 50 on a blowjob. Is that so? That seems a fucking hell of a lot of money for one blowjob. Yeah. Well, they're good bitches, aren't they? Yeah, excellent bitches. Hey, are you waiting for someone? No, just finishing chips, actually. Well, would you mind giving me a lift somewhere? No, of course not. Where are you going? Just down the road. Sure, jump in. OK. Well, there's a feeling of security, really. She's protecting us. She's like a mother, kind of. She knows how to make you feel sexy. Yeah, and plus what's really great is she really teaches you how to treat women. So is this where you live then? Well, no, but it's 20 for a hand job and 50 for full sex. We can discuss the price. <laughs> what are you talking, what are you on about? Well, that's why you picked me up, isn't it? I had no idea, honestly. Because otherwise you'd have no idea. No, you'd make mistakes. Well, my philosophy is feelings and business don't go together. Because once you get emotionally involved, that's the end of it. I don't fancy any of my boys. I mean, they're not really like real men to me, you know? I'll take care of them, give them brick guidance here and there. But let's face it, they're slags, you know? They're all slags, bro, they're all slags. I mean, they're good for a fuck, maybe, but I wouldn't want to be stuck with them. Yeah, you know? neither would I. Yeah. I'd like to be with someone nice, someone that makes me look good, you know? Sharon, this woman wants to talk to you. She seems upset. Ow! Chris? Great ass. Nice personality, bit naughty. What? Sharon? Nine in personality, ten in ass. 
I'll get him to give you a bell. Sold. Another fine bitch. Excellent. You're well done. What's happening? Oh, I don't know. She's hung up. Ow. Hey, do you think you could hook us up with one of your boys at some point? Sure. You girls should meet Keith. He's a cheerful fella. He's got a great ass, nice personality, a bit naughty, and he's conversive in a number of topics. Doesn't sound too bad. No, sounds good. Is he available now? Well, he's kind of popular, but I'll see what I can do for you. Good talking to you. Keith, get your fucking ass in gear. I've got company for you. And um, put on that new tracksuit I got you. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice looking. Yeah, yeah. Now don't disappoint me, Keith. Fit it in. You need the money, and so do I. You'll see. You'll be happier and richer. All right, handsome. Twat. So this is Keith. Dunno, 15? Now come off it. You're getting top quality here. Keith's young and horny. He's good quality, he's a real stud. 20. 50. 25. In advance. Okay. Okay, so who's first? Are you Sharon? Yeah, why? You know this fella? What are you getting at? He tried to rape me. No, no, she was really into it. Bollocks. And then he said you had him working out on the street. And I mean, who the fuck needs prostitutes anyway? Business is very good, thank you. I've got plenty of customers. Yeah, right. Bollocks. Like who? Women who can't get what they want from their husbands. Abby comes home from work. Too tired. Won't give. Kids are screaming. Telly's blasting. Or women who just want something a bit out of the ordinary, something a bit offbeat. Or ladies like these who are just very, very desperate. And a lot of ladies like yourself, who's not that attractive, can't get a man. What, you, what are you talking about? I've got a man. Yeah, of course you have, darling. Yeah, right, of course you have, darling. You're the one who seems a bit desperate, love. Yeah, whatever. Desperate, not desperate. And I mean, look at look, look at these guys. They're not even attractive. Oh, and what would you know about that, you cunt? Cunt? That's a bit rude. Oh, shut the fuck up and get out of here. This is a business, not a women's therapy centre. What? Oh, you're, you're pathetic. Yeah, you bitch. OK, so who's first? I don't know. Rosie? don't know. Have a little think about it, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm up for it now. Yeah, right, you tarts. And don't go wasting my time if, you, if you're not up for it, yeah? I've got business to do. Don't worry about it, Sharon. I mean, they were just talking crap, weren't they? You're not desperate. I mean, they're Oh, probably... piss off, Sally. Just go home, yeah? All right. What are you staring at? A seriously big bacon double cheeseburger. Do you hear that? Fifteen quid they wanted to pay for you. There's no jobs in this country. There's a respect there in that sense. 
I, th I think she really respects us in that sense. Yeah.